One of the most rewarding things about Call of Duty is obtaining kill streaks, but there's one streak in particular that has been very popular amongst all Treyarch games, and that streak is the attack dogs. With Call of Duty 4 revolutionizing the first person shooter genre in 2007, adding many new features like obtainable kill streaks, Treyarch replicated that exact system into their game, Call of Duty World at War, in 2008. Just like the UAV, Airstrike, and Helicopter were the three streaks in the original Modern Warfare, Treyarch had the Recon Plane, Artillery Strike, and Attack Dogs. At a 7 kill streak, many dogs would enter the map for upwards of 60 seconds. And it was a great tool for people who thought they could get away with camping in a building. The dogs took two bites, or hits, to kill a player, except in hardcore modes, while only taking one knife to kill them. Still, the dogs were such a popular kill streak that it made a return into Call of Duty Black Ops. Enemy artillery. This time at an 11 kill streak, the dogs in Black Ops were similar yet different to dogs in World at War. Because it required four more kills to earn dogs in Black Ops, they are respectfully more lethal, killing players in just one bite or hit. Black Ops also had a unique situation because just like Modern Warfare 2, you could select your kill streaks instead of having the three selected kill streaks that were defaulted in both Call of Duty 4 and World at War. Because of this, there was also another 11 kill streak in the game called the Gunship. It was a giant helicopter that was manned from the front, allowing the player to control where it flew and its weapons which shredded enemies apart like the chopper gunner did. However, the reason why this one didn't get nearly as much use as dogs is because the chopper gunner was a 9 kill streak, so for two less kills you could essentially have a non-controllable gunship that still put in a ton of work, freeing that slot for dogs to be used. Not to mention that the most powerful kill streak setup was Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs. Plus, dogs were much harder to take down than a gunship because it's kind of impossible to lock onto a dog with a Strela launcher, and they kill super quick. And once the Blackbird was up in the air, it was quite easy to follow that up with a set of Chopper Gunner and Dogs. The next time we would see dogs return into multiplayer is in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. However, there are many minor changes moving between both Black Ops games. For starters, this kill streak is now at a 1700 score streak, since Black Ops 2 replaced the old kill streak system with a newer score streak system. This essentially means that it took 17 kills to earn dogs in standard, non-objective game modes. The other difference is that killing a dog will give a player 15 additional points towards their streak, whereas in the older games it would give you points, but not towards your kill streak. Within the next year, we saw dogs return to Call of Duty, a part of Infinity Ward's new IP, Call of Duty Ghosts. Although this version of dogs is quite a bit different from all of the Treyarch games. In Ghosts, the guard dog is a killstreak in which you can call in Riley, the dog from Campaign, to follow the player around and protect them. Though Riley was only one dog, but he had so much damage and performed so well that he was a top tier streak in Ghosts, even though it was technically not like attack dogs in its true form. Of course, next up should be Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Many players expected the dogs to make their return from Black Ops 2, which unfortunately did not happen. However, Black Ops 3 does have the Raps kill streak, which are a bunch of giant mechanical balls that explode after seeking out enemies. Some players actually consider the Raps to be better than the traditional dogs, but either way, it's nice that Treyarch made a nod to the attack dogs in Black Ops 3. And lastly, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 brought back dogs, but not really in the traditional way. Nomad Specialist Weapon is an attack dog very similar to Riley from Call of Duty Ghosts, called Juno. Nomad's dog can be set on attack or patrol mode and is a specialist weapon rather than a score streak. Because it's only one dog instead of many dogs, it's hard to consider this streak returning to the franchise. 
I would like to mention that what I have included here is specifically the games in which dogs were obtainable killstreaks in the multiplayer. Dogs were also featured a part of campaign, spec ops, and zombies in various different aspects across the franchise. Furthermore, attack dogs can be found in game files in both Advanced Warfare as well as Call of Duty World War II, however, neither game had that killstreak when the game launched. This was upsetting to many players, because with World War II being set in World War II, it was hard to grasp the fact that Dogs was not a killstreak in the multiplayer. So it's interesting to keep in mind that the last full time we've seen the Attack Dogs killstreak in its true form was in Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I am Ninja Geek, and this was the history of Call of Duty.